It may be still a little chilly outside, but it isn't long before spring comes and the plants in your garden are going to be growing and sending out shoots and preparing for the summer and the beautiful uh, flowers that they are going to be providing. This is also the time for you to think about perhaps taking some of your plants and propagating them, getting more plants from the plants that you already have. And that's an easy thing to do. All you have to do is take a cutting and root it. And here's how. I have here in front of me a cutting I took this morning out of my garden. This is southern wood. Now, southern wood uh, grows uh, perennially, so it's year after year. But what you see here is growth from the previous year as well as the current year. In order to do a cutting and get it rooted, you have to take what scientists call a softwood cutting. So, the older, harder wood that has the, the woody aspect on the woody uh, stem, that's so old that that will not generate roots. What you need to use is the softer portion, which is sometimes called the, the softwood cutting. At the very, very tip, it's not yet mature. That's called the immature section, and that's too soft. So here's the rule that you need to remember when you're taking a cutting and you're going to root it. The Goldilocks rule. You want something that's not too hard, not too soft, but just right. And that's the portion in the middle. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to start by taking off the older hardwood. And I'm going to cut it right about here in between some leaves and remove that and discard that. Now from this then I'm going to take off oh say the bottom four or five uh, leaves so that you wind up here with a stem, a bare stem, but this area in here where the, where the leaves were, this is where it's going to root. And that's what you're going to use to put in a container. You used to, need to use uh, quality potting soil uh, and make sure that it is thoroughly moistened, not soggy. Usually what I do is I water it thoroughly, put it set in the sink and let it water thoroughly. Let the water run out until there's no more water coming out and it will stay nice and moist during the process while this is creating roots for you. And then you take a real high-tech, my high-tech tool here, the dibbler, which a pencil works fine, sometimes your finger, and you just poke in here and create a bit, little bit of a hole and you stick the cutting in there. Then you push the soil around it. Now, uh, one thing sometimes people will ask is, do I need to use uh, growth hormones. You can purchase growth hormones in the store. That's been tested a lot over the years and for the backyard gardener, frankly, it really doesn't do a lot of good. Uh, if you're using mass production, growth hormones may be able to help and with some things that will, will solve the problem. But I wouldn't really recommend it here. So now finally it's moist and then what you do is you take a plastic bag and you put it over the top. This creates a miniature greenhouse. That will keep the soil and the plant cutting moist until the roots form. Then comes the really hard part. You have to leave it alone for about two weeks. Leave it in a, in a warm environment, not in direct sunlight, because that will overheat. Uh, not in direct sunlight, and then it, it, within about two weeks you start to see new growth on the uh, little, little tips. And from that, then you know that you have a plant, you can take it off and you can uh, process it just the way you would other new plants that you've purchased, where you slowly get it prepared to go outside and away you go. If I can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm.